Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome back to school. Hi, Mr. Presley here with you on this magnificent Monday for learning. Today is Monday, November 7th, 2022. We're glad you're back with us for a day of learning. Whew, what a wild last Friday night it was. It was very windy and rainy. I know some people had lost some power and things. Uh, hopefully everything's back on for everybody as we head into uh, hopefully a less windy, wild, rainy uh, week ahead. It's four days this week, and as we have these four days, we're going to honor veterans this coming Thursday. We're going to have a Veterans Day assembly. We're going to honor veterans. That's men and women who have served in our military, either in the past or currently serve. We're going to have a Veterans Day assembly. So if you have veterans in your family, like my grandma and grandpa are veterans, um, they were veterans of the Air Force. So if you have family members who've been in the Air Force, the Marines, um, the Army, the Navy, the Coast Guard, the National Guard, all of those uh, branches of the military and in our government, we're going to honor them this Thursday. If you'd like, you can invite them to come to our assembly. It's at 930 on Thursday. It's a chance for our school to, again, honor the men and women who have served our country and sacrificed so much to keep our country free. So I appreciate our veterans and I know our community does as well. Hey, as you get started on this Monday, a few things, guess what? I have the yearbook cover contest um, kids in here. Wow, there's some great entries. I'm looking through these. We got a lot and some kids have been turning them in this morning. We said today was gonna be the due date because it's Monday and um, we wanna make sure we get everybody who's, who's doing their, their contest, the yearbook cover contest, get those in. We're gonna give till Wednesday. So Wednesday, November uh, 9th will be the last day to turn in your yearbook cover contest. Remember, it's just a regular sheet of paper. Do your creativity, your drawings, something that has to do with Frylands and Falcons and soaring and the year 2022, 2023 school year. Make it colorful, make it interesting, make it um, your own. Remember, it needs to be original work that you do. Let's show your creativity and create your yearbook cover. Like I say, even three of them came in this morning as school's getting ready to start. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, also, it is Monday. It's time to soar, right? This week as we get started, we're going to soar and I've got uh, soar tickets that I pulled out. There was a huge stack from last week. What that tells me is boys you're being, and girls, it's telling me boys and girls you're being safe, you're owning your actions, you're accepting others, and you're being respectful. Here are just some of the students who were soaring last week who will come down and pick up a brag tag or a bracelet. So for Mrs. Adams class, we have Jude. From Ms. Shepard's class, we have Camilla. From Mrs. Veely's class, we have William. From Mrs. BP's class, we have Paola. From Ms. Shinstrom's class, we have Sophia. From Mrs. Fungoni's class, we have Fern. From Mrs. Burrow's class, we have Emilio. From Mrs. Gillespie's class, we have Caden. From Mrs. Young's class, we have Emiliano. From Mrs. Fuller's class, we have Romeo. For Mrs. Haynes' class, we have Emma. For Mrs. Tenney's class, we have Lucas. For Mrs. Haynes' class, we have Nora. For Mrs. Carlson's class, we have Marley. For Mrs. Harper's class, we have Ozzie. For Mrs. Gad's class, we have Harper. From there's the bell, I better get going. For Mrs. Sager's class, we have Badilio. And for Mrs. Slater's class, we have Vaughn. So congratulations to all those students. Uh, you can come on down again and pick out either a brag tag or a bracelet. Thank you for soaring last week for all you students um, who are doing the right thing. Remember, do what's expected and do the best you can every day. So as you get started on this magnificent Monday for learning, remember when we're outside, we're not play fighting. We're not, you know, pretend fighting. We're not horse playing around because kids get hurt that way. Please remember running on the field only, not on the black top except the running zone. We don't run in the bark as well. And then at lunchtime, one thing new that we're going to have starting today at lunchtime is um, sometimes at lunchtime because of recess and we're eating lunch, that recess bathroom gets super full and it's hard to wait for kids who are in there to get your turn. So starting today and from now on, when you are in the lunchroom, you can go to the second grade bathroom. That's the bathroom down by second grade, preschool and TK. You can use that bathroom when you're at lunch. And then that way the lunch uh, or the recess bathroom 
can get used by those at recess. And that means less kids will be having to wait their turn to go in. And hopefully that'll help uh, speed up getting you back into the lunchroom. And also for those of you who really need to get into the restroom quickly, all right? So at lunchtime, you can use the second grade bathroom. We'll put some signs up for you as well at that time. So keep that in mind. Hey, as you get started on this magnificent Monday, let's show our Falcon pride by soaring today and every day. Be safe, own your actions, accept others, and be respectful. Have a wonderful day, boys and girls. And always remember, your Fryland's family, Hedgy, we got here, Peel, Chunkamunka, Perry, your Fryland's family cares about you. All right, have a great day of learning. Teachers, please lead your students in the Pledge of Allegiance. We'll see you soon.